Hi everyone and welcome to a new series. In this series we're going to look at the equipment system in games that you see in such as RPGs. So we're going to try and replicate a character window where you can slot in different uh, armor pieces, weapon pieces that will affect stats and abilities inside the game and the character. So in this first episode we're looking at how to uh, capture a three-dimensional image of another mesh. Okay. Now the reason we're going to do that is because we want to have a three-dimensional mesh inside of our character window showing the character in view on a character, uh, character sheet. So we're going to look at that first of all and the way it works is with the use of a render target. So a render target is a special type of camera basically that captures and renders the scene onto a texture. So for this to work we're going to make a few uh, folders first to keep ourselves nice and organized. And in here, I'm going to put in 3D oh, mesh capture. And in there, I'm going to add new materials and textures render target. And I'm going to call it mesh render target. And I'm going to right click on the mesh render target and click create material and leave it as that. Now the rest render target basically is a target for a this special camera to render to and like basically a canvas it will paint onto this canvas here and it will turn the canvas into a material that we can use later on. So open up your material and we need to change some settings here firstly. Um, let's click on the big brown output window and it will change the surface domain uh, the material domain from surface to user interface reason being is that eventually this is going to be part of the UI okay and we're only done with that we're going to drag the top color here into final color click save and we're done here let's close this next up we're going to do is add a new actor so let's go add new blueprint class actor and go 3d mesh capture underscore bp for blueprint so this actor is going to be basically our little uh, photo studio essentially what it is and in it we're going to set up that scene capture and we're going to make the mesh that it takes a picture of dynamic so we can change it as we so wish and desire so if i click on add component first of all and i want to make a new scene component and let's call it a mesh placeholder then on that I'm going to add a spring arm a uh, spring arm keeps things a relative distance away and you can change the length for the spring arm over here where it says target arm length currently set at the 300 on the spring arm add another component and this is where we're going to look for that scene capture so type in scene capture component 2d and this thing will capture that uh, mesh that we put here. So the mesh uh, will be captured by this, but we need to tell this scene capture where to put the output, the actual picture it sees. So if you scroll down with it selected on the right hand side, you'll see texture target. And from there, you can find your mesh target, a render target. Click compile. And at the moment, you'll see it's black because we've got nothing in the actor. So the way this works, I'll demonstrate for you how it works. Uh, we're going to go, I'm just going to quickly add another component here, skeletal mesh, and give it a mesh, like so. If I go to the scene capture component and scroll down, you can see in the picture now it has captured that uh, mesh. And I can see that over here too, I can see it on the target here. Oh, don't mind that. Um, and here on the material okay so whilst you've got a if you put a default one in it makes it quite easy to line up your camera basically so here's our default skeletal mesh um, I want to line it up so that this output looks a bit better than that so the first thing to first it's not facing the right way so I need to rotate the spring arm because that's what the camera's attached to I'm going to rotate it so that it is going to be facing 
the target and then we'll move it up a little bit like so now let's take a look at it that's a bit better it's a bit more central okay it's facing the right way so now i'm going to zoom the camera in so if you click on with the camera still selected you can change the field of view from 90 to something lower and you can see the camera sort of does this zoom effect like so okay and that'll do it for us i think if you want you can angle the camera a specific way if you want it doesn't really matter too much next up we're going to do is add um well let's actually let's go to our material let's fix that first of all so let's go into your mesh render target material and you can see your chap there we can now attach this to a user interface widget so let's try that out shall we so you can actually see it working and test it out so what you want to do is i'm going to go back to my ui folder and make a new user interface called widget blueprint and call this one the heads up display and make another one and this one's going to be called the character sheet Okie dokie. Um, so to test this out i'm going to go into my character sheet and i'm going to delete the canvas panel and for now just put an image in okay we're going to change all this a lot later on um in the next episode but for now we're going to leave this as it is because we're just testing whether or not we've got it working so with your image selected you can go on the right hand side and you can see brush and open it up and you'll see image and there we can choose our image so if we type in our 3d uh, mesh or sorry mesh render target material you can see our mesh it's a bit squished and squashed that's because our image is uh, being stretched on this preview but if I change it to desired you can see it a bit different there that's a bit small so I'm going to change, change the size of the image and let's change it to 450 by 450 and there's our image excellent and we can also animate it and it will capture the animation too so if I wanted to I can go back to my skeletal mesh here click on it and up the top you'll find a section where it says anim animation and anim class i'm just going to give it a third person animation there and the character sheet will now have this animated pose it doesn't animate in this window but it will do when we've got it rendered on the screen so let's get this rendering on the screen so we can test our game so in here i'm going to put this on sorry onto the heads up display so open up your heads up display and at the bottom in the palette you'll find user created widgets and you'll see your character sheet drag that out onto the canvas and click compile that'll do for this so close that and uh, minimize the rest okay so now we've got a display on the screen because if i play it now it won't show nothing because i haven't told it to render the heads up display so I like to put that onto the game mode. So if I go into my third person BP blueprints, I'll find third person game mode. Open full blueprint editor. And on begin play, we're going to create a widget. Create widget. And the class of that widget is going to be the heads up display. Uh, return value, I'm going to promote to a variable. So I can always access this no matter what. And I'm going to call it the HUD. And then from there, I can add to viewport. And this actually renders it to the viewport. Click compile. And now let's play it. Okay, so you can see our window is there. However, you see it's not animating. Plus, it's got this black background. Now, the reason why you have that black background is because our material hasn't been changed to be translucent enough to remove alpha channels so if i go into my blueprints and uh, my 3d mesh capture stuff here go into the mesh render target and you can see the background there is a bit bland and nothing there well that actually turns out to be invisible so if i go onto my output here where we change to user interface beneath that you'll see opaque change that to translucent 
and with the alpha channel of the texture sample drag that out onto the opacity uh, click save now the problem you'll find here is if I go into if I double click on this or sorry here we can see an issue here because the image of the render actually becomes invisible like so okay so I don't actually want that I want it to be the other way around it's just the way uh, Unreal renders it first of all so to flip this around you go to your material and where you've got the alpha we're going to do one minus and basically that flips it so now what was opaque and translucent and and, uh, and uh, yeah translucent have now flipped okay so now the black bit is invisible and the middle bit isn't and that's how you get disappearing click apply and save now let's go into our game and there you see the character mesh being rendered on the screen so as you saw the although we had the image displaying on the screen it wasn't animated now the reason why it isn't animated is because actually the actor doesn't actually exist in this world therefore the animation won't run if we want animation to run then we need to put it in the world so let's drag it into the world so ignoring the fact that you can see the character in the actual game if i click play you can see another issue in that the background of the picture is now captured as well you can see the animation working but it's not what we want so how do we fix this the easiest solution and so far the only solution i can find or one of the simplest solutions i can find is if we actually drag this character outside of the world so to get outside the world click on your sky and hit f key and that will zoom the camera out outside of the sky sphere a sky sphere is a big ball of the sky uh, that paints the background so now if you drag your 3d mesh capture bp outside in the world making sure that the camera the, the spring arm is facing away from the sky sphere we can then go back to the game hit play and you can see the background doesn't render that's because even though if we look at this you see this blue gradient even though we see this the, to the game that's nothing okay there's no artwork there there's nothing there so it will render as black as an alpha okay so from that we can then play the game and see the background has been removed and there you go you've got a nice animated image you may find the quality of the image is a bit low so you can always fix that by going to your mesh render target and changing the size of it to be a lot bigger so if I can change it to 1024 by 1024 it's a much higher resolution meaning a lot more detail can be captured and you get a lot nicer capture of the character so that'll do it for this episode and what we'll do in the next episode is we'll start doing the fancy fittings around the character shape such as the armor slots weapon slots and the stats screen thank you for watching if you'd like to see the next episode now please subscribe me uh, su support me on patreon and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel for future updates and videos thank you very much and i'll see you next time bye bye